Oh my rated! What the heck is wrong with this box? Is this rated? gonna be broken when I oh open no, it? Oh no, oh no. He he sat on it. They sat on it over there in Georgia to send it to you. <laughs> Okay, well, did. well, hello, Comrade Crew! Hello, Comrade Crew! And welcome to Scorpion and Sub Zero! Scorpion and Sub Zero! Open the box! Open the box. <laughs> that box! That really, really, really horribly messed up box! Uh, this is by Rosen Print! It is a movie mask! A Sub Zero movie mask like this! But it's ice themed! It is oh, an ice mask! It's gonna be see through! It is not, That's gonna be weird! It's made with a resin printer! So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. I got my my kunai. We're gonna do that here. Opening. Open and sesame. So I really hope it's not broken. Let's really pray Let, we that this by Rosen Print is not broken. Look at that broken. box. That's how they, by the way, how they ship his things shop from is Russia new. And, and Georgia. They sit on them with uh, other people are shipped with them and they stand on the boxes to make sure that no one, uh, no one uh. attacks them from overhead. But so it's packaged it's pretty properly, a human being on a box and he has very work. little sales so far. He just started the shop, so look at all that extra wrap right there. That is good. He's making sure that, that whatever happens in the Georgian Post does not ruin that mask. Good, good, good to see that. But now, how are you gonna find it? Wrapped it's up see inside of itself. Where does the plastic end and the mask begin? <laughs> Yes! Do you know? We're, oh uh, my, it's huge! I can tell, it's big! This it's is a big, big one? and this is a really, um... It's thick Well, material. the movie mask... Yeah, oh my, that is The thick. actual movie mask this dimensions will never go on break. the outside oh of the helmet. Oh my goodness! Look at this! It's turquoise! Look at that! Oh! Let's take it's it out! Cyan. Take it it's out of cyan! Why is it so cyan? That's very frost. It's, it should be more... It's just yeah. the, it's the resin printer. It's the the type of filament. Look at the... Oh! And it has a strap on it! Good! Oh, look at that! There's a strap DIY already those. added to it. That is great! It's wow, a honker. Wow, look at this mask. It's such a honker. You're it gonna have to have that claw looking. Out. Yes. It, For sure, you're going to have to have that claw So out this is a, such a thick... Yep, I will. This is such a thick filament. This is definitely... Um, uh, even thicker than than a PLA plus. I think it's even less likely to break. It's very durable. You can tell that uh, there's so much detail. This resin printer is a very expensive printer. You see a lot of the lines in there and the mask are, are really great looking. And uh, I like the color too. I do like that it's a little bit on that kind of a little bit on that turquoise side. Um, yes, but as you lean toward with, green, think, the screen is gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so but, let's yeah, put this as close good, good as I can to myself. Yeah, keep it to you yourself. Know, not, not bounce that around. Go but there, it's not gonna work. So this, let me put this on, guys. Okay, let's put this back. You can put on. that thing on oh, over what you have. That's look, how big that looks to look, me. Look, he included one of these. These allow you to adjust, uh, have adjustable straps. You put this on the back of your head, and it, and and it allows it. you to attach the straps at these. Different hook spots, so that's a very that unique just approach. to make it easier. So, one of the first times you've seen that on the channel. And hey, look! Right. He put a little pad in there, a tiny little pad that you can put in yourself for your nose. Oh, so and it's, stuff. So it's got adhesive backing. It looks like weather stripping to me. It does, yeah, it's, it is. A, it looks like a weather stripping one. It does have the adhesive backing. It's good, we, so we're we gonna take this that. It's a good idea. Here. It's a very good idea for batting. I will use this. I will use the thing here, right here. That, uh, this, these are adjustable, by the way. They, they are adjustable themselves, so you don't really need this thing. But I'll use it just for for good measure out of curiosity for how it, how it functions. Oh, like right it's there, much better than I thought tight. it was gonna fit. Now, how does the size? Let me get it a little I, bit tighter. Like I'm leaning. I'm gonna so use it, hold on, I'm gonna go all the way on the tightness. We gotta stop doing that. It fits me perfectly! Ah, much better than I thought. It's just wow. more, more of like a long wow, thing. Wow, wow, wow. Where, where is it to your ear? Pull that up. Is it covering your ear? What? Is it covering your ears? It goes, yeah, it goes over my ears. It goes uh. over my ears for sure. Oh, my hair. My hair is coming out. I can't help it. <laughs> It's just there you go. Much you got it. Out right now. So the mask is, is uh, a little on the large Stop side. Stop leaning in. Sure. Look at me. But the way it fits my face is actually quite great. Look how cool I look, guys. You're on focus now. That ice. <laughs> you look at me. Oh, you look great. I mean, awful. Yes, but I in, do. Like a better than before way. <laughs> and uh, here, but, 
I have something else to add to this, guys. Looky here. What's he got here? Let's see what it would LEDs. look like. I want to test out real quick. If you did specifically the centerpiece, okay? Let's take this off and let's just play around real quick with that. Let's just put them, uh, kind just of- Just shove the whole region. ball of lights in your face. It shouldn't affect how you talk, yes. but for now, if you don't lay it around right. But the general idea is like, maybe like that. Does that, nope, it doesn't do, it doesn't look all that great. <laughs> I but can yes, barely maybe see if that. You have yeah, a, I, and they're hey, all crammed like together. I can barely see it. But it does look like it would do something in the dark. Yeah, if you have like a filter. In the dark, or, that would do something. Or even brighter lights than this. You could probably make that work. But I can probably uh, get this to, to, it doesn't, see, it doesn't go over my ears because that's one advantage of these things that, that he included. I don't remember what they're called. This um, is helpful because I can't access my ears, you see. My, I have a belly cloth on. What am I supposed to do, right? He thought of that by including this. That's just, I just first so, time okay, I've ever seen something. So like that. I have the mask back. I have the mask back on here, and one second, I'm having a little trouble adjusting. And let's see, I, I have to look at these images again. When I look at the customer images, it looks more on the blue spectrum than it does on my face here. Okay. Um, I think that. The color is a little bit inaccurate for the listing, but I don't mind that. I like this color. I think it's a it's a great color. It would be a little bit better if it, like you're saying, if it was a little more on the blue spectrum instead of on the green. Um, it's leaning a little the bit. The print quality side. is absolutely fantastic, and you want to celebrate the movie mask for sure. But right now, it has moved uh, from 65 to 60 when you just get the mask itself like this. Uh, but the shipping's not free. With uh, like eleven or twelve dollars shipping uh, or whatever on top of that, estimated. or if you spend another ten dollars, you can get one with a bandana that goes underneath. Which I don't know why you do that when you could just get a belly clava and stuff. But as you can see, this mask came with straps. It came with an adjustable thing on the back. It came with uh, this to be able to put in for if you're you have discomfort or you need balance. It looks like it goes for the nose. Um, yeah, I could have put that in, but I haven't really decided yet. On the minimum the of a, like a, a the pressure point always is the bridge of the nose on a mask. So the minimum padding you would do in a mask at all would be that bridge, just the bridge of the nose. And usually the masks are fine and sitting, sitting with that tension and this tension. I'm gonna have to give this probably a. I, I'm gonna give it a 4.75 snow coat. 4.75. The reason five. I'm going 4.7 and not five is because I'm not 100% happy about the color being a little bit different. That always happens though when you're looking stuff up online. It, you never know whether or not your phone or your computer is the right colors to match or they took the picture with different lighting and all that balance, kind of stuff. So settings. it's really impossible. And, and so this mask too is a little bit too large for me. Uh, that's, a, that's one of the things. I mean, the fact that it goes all the way back up to here, uh, you know, maybe for somebody with a larger face, this works out. Perfectly, I don't think it looks bad at all, but I don't know that it's quite as adjustable the same way because this resin is very thick and I have no idea. Maybe you know more about that scorpion if it can even be adjusted. He knows all about the heating. That's I, why I, I'm asking him these questions. But yeah, I could not be, um, um, I could not feel like, like more satisfied other than those small little details. Um, I don't know that the mask can be really adjusted. I don't think it's a bad size in general. I think this is almost an average size, tiny bit on the larger side, but it's but very comfortable. I don't even need the pad, but the fact he included these things, his shop is new. Uh, so really you should consider supporting it because this isn't the only Ice Sub-Zero mask he makes. I also saw an Oni one, it's not listed right now, but uh, he only lists things when he has them in his shop, so you might seller. have to wait a while if you're trying to get this mask. And uh, yeah, it, go ahead and support him because this is only his like third or something sale. So this might continue to improve. He might do all sorts of other Mortal Kombat masks and we really want this community to get going strong. And so to support whoever you can here, that you, if you love this mask, Go ahead and buy it from Rosen Print, or I think that's, yeah, it's Rosen, uh, Rosen Store, I'm sorry, Rosen Store. I, I'm just so used to like all these print names, you know, there's so many different stores now. And I'm really, I, it's so cool. I, I, I could not look more chill. 
And <laughs> what do you think, Scorpion? I think I think uh, I think a movie mask is designed large on purpose, anyway. For as far as that uh, the movie goes, your brother has a helmet. Your brother has a damage protecting clava, so it's thicker, so that it has to have a bigger mask to, to accompany it. So maybe that's why the dimensions look a little bigger than they should. Is a longer face. On that, I think that if it was wider, it'd look more silly. So longer is not that bad. As if it's going to go go large in one way, it's going to go long better. It's just going to cover your ears, so you can't put. That's true. You can't put headphones like these on and hear things. You have to put earbuds in and crush them into your skull with that. Um, but other than that, it's stylistically, I think it. it, it I think it looks great. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I was yeah. agreeing. I was just about to agree with you that turquoise that's, is right, scary you're on right. a green this, tree. This is more accurate. That too. <sighs> but yeah, it's. Uh, this is more accurate to the size it is in the movie, and whereas with with this mask, this is a this is a, a little bit more like what a regular person's face should. It, it fits more comfortably on a regular. Yeah, and there's face. no cloud. There's uh, no so mesh under it. Obviously, that would patch those holes for you. So you do have to clava underneath the mask to make sure that you don't see your face. It would just be a clear to the face, and like it looks a little strange. So I guess all I'm saying is is that I, I prefer a mask that fits a regular person's face more than I prefer one that's more accurate to the movie because in the movie, uh, my bro has a very large mask and I don't think it's gonna fit a lot of people's faces. So that's why it's not the seller's fault as much really. I think it's great that they're being more accurate but at the end of the day, uh, less people will fit the mask if it's too large. So uh, there's a balance between those two things of accuracy and uh, comfort and, and, you know, all that, those different, uh, um, you know, factors are just so many involved in this process. So go ahead and check him out and pick up this mask and support his shop. And we'll see you guys on the next icy thing we're doing. Have a nice day.